within the this explore phase, the, the arrows are pointing inward towards the central area, which is the lift model. And that's really the framework that we use to understand the perspective of the target audience that's coming to these, these marketing touch points. Uh, and they're pulled as needed. This isn't a step-by-step -step process. It's a process of accessing the type of tools, uh, resources, and research that we, we need to fill in the gaps of our understanding of that prospect. And then the lift model is the, is the framework for thinking about them. Now, if you haven't seen the lift model, I'll give you a brief overview of it. You know, most of you have probably seen this before. But the lift model shows the six conversion factors that are impacting your conversion rate right now. And it shows from the perspective of your, your shopper or your uh, prospect on the site what they're thinking as they sit there looking at your screen. So the value proposition is the core of it, right? They need to understand the value to them from their perspective of taking action on that page. And it's, a, it's an equation that goes on in their mind between the perceived cost of taking action and the perceived benefits. That potential for your conversion rate lift is totally dependent on your value proposition and the strength of that. The other factor is simply enhance or detract from the value proposition. So the relevance of the presentation is the relevance to their needs and to the source media to where, where they just arrived from. The clarity of the presentation is clarity of the eye flow and the imagery. You can think of it, thinking about that uh, the e-commerce category we page we just saw, the clarity of uh, the color versus palette, those small cues can make a big difference in clarity. Anxiety is anything that uh, creates uncertainty in the prospect's mind about taking action. Distraction is anything that redirects attention from the primary message or the primary call to action. And then urgency is why should they act now? So we'll, we'll look within each of these components and actually test within the components to find which ones have the most elasticity in a particular area that can lead to more hypotheses and lead to drilling into improving things even more. Um, there, there are 27 sub-factors within the lift model and we're constantly evaluating and adding and refining uh, within that as well. But really, you know, the, the, the idea behind it is that we're always thinking about how putting ourselves in the shoes of the prospect and coming up with ideas that will solve their needs, uh, communicate with more clarity and relevance to them, and, and persuade them to move to the next action.